We're Vero and Justin, Canadians who love to travel and share their experience through videos. We arrived in Arizona mid-May, and after spending a few days in Phoenix, we set off for some hiking in northern Arizona. In this video, we combined four hikes that we did in the area, three in Coconino National Forest in Sedona, and one in the Grand Canyon. All of these were out and back trails, had incredible views, and were rated either moderate or hard. If you like your videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. The first hike we did was in Sedona called the Bear Mountain Trail. It's 7.9 kilometers in length, has 617 meters in elevation gain, and rated as difficult. This trail is called Bear Mountain, and it's about six kilometers. You go up for two hours and then down for two hours. It can take a little bit longer depending on your fitness ability and the warmth of the weather. So we'll see how long it takes us. So for those who don't know, we do travel with our dog sometimes. Her name is Ember with an E and she's 12 years old. She loves to hike. minutes in and the views are incredible. Apparently the hardest hike in Sedona. Okay, this is part of the hike that's actual mountain climbing. Put Ember on my back. Hopefully I don't put my hand on the scorpion. Apparently they're tan color over here. park at any of the trailhead parking lots you're gonna have to buy a pass that's either five dollars for one day or if you think you'll come on multiple hikes like we are then it's fifteen dollars for seven days it's getting very windy up here but the temperature is really nice some people that we see are wearing these like long sleeves long pants we're both in shorts and tank top and it's super comfortable yeah we decided to do the most difficult one today because although Sedona is just cooler than Phoenix Today is actually 20 degrees and it's cloudy. We made it! We went super slow so we stopped a bunch of times. I knew we were it took that us slow. an hour and 55 to come up, so yeah, but we stopped a lot. So it's not that slow actually. No, it's definitely harder like the last hour. I feel like most of the steps are like this high, like big lunges. You use your hands. Definitely recommend shoes that have some sort of grip or yeah. cleats or something because you're walking on rock faces that could be down or sideways. People say it's very difficult and grueling and everything, but it's, I don't know, it's fun. It helps that it's windy. You know, it keeps you Yeah, it's not of... hot today. That's probably why we find it okay. Yeah. For now, we're gonna have lunch. A beer? Well deserved. So after all, the top was way too windy and you couldn't actually see the red rocks. It was just trees and sky. So we came down about 20 minutes down the path and check out our view. I know one thing for sure. I've never been so close before. second hike was the South Kebab Trail to Skeleton Point in none other than the Grand Canyon National Park. This one is 9.3 kilometers in length, 618 meters in elevation gain, 
and rated as difficult. <laughs> Good morning from Flagstaff. Today we're heading to the South Kebab Trail to Skeleton Point. Just eating our overnight oats and then we're heading in 10 minutes away. The hike that we're doing today is the same length as the one yesterday and about the same elevation gain. Rated as hard, so it should be fun. We park at the visitor center, pay $35 for the day for the car, and then we have to take a shuttle to the South Kebab Trailhead. We were given a stern no to bring Ember on the bus. She said, if we let little dogs, gotta let big dogs in, even in the backpack. So, gotta walk 45 minutes instead to the trailhead. And we got a stern no to bring her to that trail, but. We're just gonna put her in the backpack and, you know, we won't let her out. Wow. This way. Okay. Well, at least you looked at it now. Yeah. Are we ever gonna get there? Going the wrong way. <laughs> Good thing we left early. Woke up at five. What you doing there, buddy? Wow. <laughs> you are friendly. What's in it? Oh shit. <laughs> if you would have walked a little bit quicker, he would have walked <laughs> right into you. <laughs> you know what? Even if you come here without a dog, skip the shuttle. You're walking along the canyon, so actually quite lovely. So we're starting our trek down. So this might seem obvious, but because you're hiking into the canyon, the way into your hike is a lot easier than the way back. Just the reverse of any other hike up the mountain. Definitely creepy how narrow this path is. Hiking in the canyon can be dangerous. On average, 12 people die in the national park each year. Between the steep cliffs, the narrow paths, and the scorching heat, we carefully made our way down to Skeleton Point. Once we arrived, we all took a break overlooking the incredible views and even catching a glimpse of the Colorado River. We then made our way back up via what felt like a never-ending staircase. You have a friend right here. Oh. We finished our 10 kilometer hike. We actually made it up as fast as we took to get down. An hour and a half up for five kilometers. 600 meters of elevation, it was pretty good. Say the first like hour going up is very difficult and then the last like 20 minutes was even harder. We did go quick though, barely any breaks and uh, a good pace. And now that we got to the top, we have a five kilometer walk to our car because the dog can't take the shuttle. The following day, we went back to Sedona and hiked Soldier Pass. The trail is 7.2 kilometers in length, only 256 meters in gain and rated as moderate. Since parking is scarce for this one, we parked at the Jim Thompson Trailhead, only a 30 minute walk away. It's another beautiful morning in Flagstaff. Today is day three of our Arizona hiking series. We are heading to Soldier Trail in Sedona. But first, we're off to breakfast. So Soldier's Pass Trail only has like 16 spots for parking. So we took about a 10 minute drive came to Jordan Trail, a little bit bumpy to get through, not too bad for a sedan, found the last spot, and now we're walking 30 minutes to get to Soldier's Pass. And I'm already out of breath. Good start. Oh yeah, and we kind of don't really have any directions 
We're just kind of following Google Maps. Hopefully it gets us there. hot so we gave her some water she went in the pack sack which is meant for dogs and we put some water on her forehead so she should be cooling off soon so we just passed the pools the consensus between everyone visiting from what we heard is it's a little underwhelming yeah right now it's just murky brown water with a bunch of flies and a bunch of bees flying in the pools but i did read that whenever it does rain whenever that happens it actually fills up so it looks a lot better so i think it's just been a while since the last rainfall so we finally made it up to the height of the trail had a little lunch here now we're heading back down. We're gonna try a different fork and that's gonna bring us to what we believe is gonna be the cave. One of the scariest things about this section of the hike is that there's tons of bees. So we walk really fast past them. We don't wanna get stung by all of those. So we've been chatting with people and I think we can all agree that this path here is a little bit confusing. So our tip is to download all trails so you do have to pay a yearly subscription and then you can download the maps. So whenever you have no reception, then you still have access. Especially in this hot weather because if you're running out of water, it's good to know how much longer you have. It's a sweaty trip up to the caves. Mm -hmm. The big ones are up ahead. Well, can you get this route down too? Some over there, there's one there. Okay, the caves are the only place you should come to on this hike. The dead end of Soldier Trail, not worth it. But this is, one, you have shade, two, someone made a bench, and three, you get out of the sun so you can actually see everything without having that glare in your eyes. Oh, it's like AC in here. It's cool, it's a big crack. You gotta walk up, a little narrow passage of rocks, and then there's a window where I'm sure a lot of people sit for their Instagram pics, because I don't think you can see anything. Yeah, it's too bright. Behol's trying to make her way to it. Our last hike in Sedona was the popular cathedral hike. It's only 1.9 kilometers in length, but 226 meters in elevation gain and rated as moderate. Last time we saw you guys were in Sedona, but it was daytime like all the other hikes. Now we're doing our first sunset hike in Sedona and it's also our last day in Flagstaff. So we had to do it. Sunset's in about two hours and we're hiking up Cathedral Hill, which is supposed to look even redder when the sun is setting. And this is going to be an easier hike than the rest that we just did. Only two kilometers. Let's do it. So the All Trails app said that it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to get up. By sheer miracle, we actually found a parking space. Again, there's only like 15 spots. Yeah, as soon as we got here, there was three cars leaving. And now there's a lineup just waiting for people to come back from their hike and leave. So, perfect timing. Yeah. A little too steep for the doggy. She's secure? Yeah. Good to go.
good morning from <laughs> Cute. Oh, my hat. How much was that? 35 bills. $35? 35 shekels. No, can you say something normal? $35 USD. No, like a full sentence. The pass was $35 American. This is unusable. <laughs> I'm not sitting down anywhere. And some scorpions? No, thank you. Mm, attention. Amber's in a cave. Where's Amber? <laughs> She's in a cave. 